Hello and welcome to On Location with Scott. I'm in my backyard enjoying the warm weather and you can't see it but there's a pool. I think maybe you can see it. There's a pool right there. Anyway, this video is about reviewing your photographs and this week's topic was sunrise and sunset and let's just jump right into it, shall we? First up is one from Driveshaft Drew and Driveshaft Drew did this sunset and it was, I think it was a sunset. It could have been a sunrise, I'm not sure. But what a beautiful shot. The only thing I would do is put the sun one side or the other, but I mean, to see the rocks and the water flow and stuff, it's really good shot. And for, it's a little bit less in quality than I'd like to see you guys. Anything above, above 1080. Next, we run into Mudnut59 and he loves his Jeep and he's got this, uh, that would be a sunrise probably because I know Oh, maybe it could be a sunset. I'm not sure. I believe it's a sunrise, but whatever. It's a sun in position to rise or set. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. It, but it's a good picture. I, if the pole wasn't there, Glenn with poles and wires, if that pole wasn't there, it would be awesome. I believe this is in Winnipeg, though, at the Tim Hortons. I can't see it full screen, so I'm... Not yes, the Tim Hortons. That's what I thought. I know exactly where this is, so that's probably the sunrise. Ah, <sighs> there, I'm glad we cleared that up. And it's a good shot. Technically, you got this. There's a story in this. The sun is coming up. The Jeep is there. The, the hood is off. He's ready. He's going into Tim Hortons to get a coffee to go on the road or just visit with his buddies or whatever. But it tells a story, that picture. I really like that one, Glenn. Next is Exploring Canada. Excuse me, I just got out of the pool. Exploring Canada, and this is a late afternoon, probably. And you know it's getting close to sunset because of the long shadows on the car. The shadows hitting the, the uh, ground, and it's a soft lighting. Usually a, an hour or two before sunset, or sunrise, you get those long, sh soft shadows. When I'm playing golf in the men's night, I get them as well. And that's when the sun is going down. So not all sunset and sunrise pictures are of the sun. That's a great shot, Karen. Great interpretive thing on the sunrise or sunset. Next, this is one of mine. And this is at the golf course. The sun was setting and the pond was uh, reflecting so good that I had to take a, a photograph of it. It's just a tree and a reflection in the water at sunset and you can choose what you want to critique it if you want in the comments. I have no problem. I really appreciate that. Okay, and then next, what are we going to do next here? Florida Pirate. Now this is from Dave in uh, Florida, obviously. And he's done a sunset, and I know this was done with his GH3 camera. I'm not sure exactly what lens it is. He might have said it in the email, but I, I, I didn't uh, pay note of it. And because I'm in my backyard, you might hear kids. But anyway, he's got the sun setting on the left third. He's got the bridge over the middle third, and he's got the clouds up above and how it actually layers the colors from the sunset and the dark bridge up to the lighter blues in the sky that the sun hasn't distinguished yet for, for uh, lack of better words. Okay, next we gotta go into our joke. Why should you never, ever brush your teeth with your left hand? Answer coming up. This one, this is the best dad joke yet. You're gonna love it. Okay, next. Okay, we go back to exploring Canada, and this is obviously a, probably a sunset, and it's framed really quite uniquely with the trees, right? The trees and the car, and it, it, this was uh, taken in Manitoba, Lake Manitoba, and I forget, I saw the email, but I can't remember where it was. Anyway, um, oh, Lake Man it's taken at Lake Manitoba, and it's a sunset, and it's framed really nice. You just got a sliver of the sunset and everything else is around it. Very good, Karen. I like that. 
Ah, next, exploring with Drew. This is probably a sunrise because he gets up early. It could be a sunset. But either way, you could see the tiki huts. He's got it right in the middle and I don't like that. Maybe move the tiki cuts, huts or the, te the huts over down lower in the picture and have more of the sky. It looks like there's some clouds up there that you could have captured. Maybe take a wide angle shot as opposed to a vertical shot and get the clouds in there. But it, it's a cool shot too in the sun setting. Next is drive shaft Drew and you can see that the shadows are getting long in this picture. And this is at Rental Ponds in Manitoba. And you got nice reflections on the, the trees in the back. It's a good shot. Uh, maybe a little bit darker in the foreground, but now I'm getting nitpicky. It's, it's a nice shot. It's in the rule of thirds, right? The front third is by the, the framing of the front ground, the water in the middle third, and the last third is the reflections and the trees in the background. It's a great shot. Good shot, Drew. Next one is from Mudnut59. Now I was gonna submit my kayak picture like this one. Mine's a little bit different, but like this one. And um, I know this is a sunrise because I've been to this lake. It's Oliver Lake in just outside of Thunder Bay, Ontario. And I've got the same shot almost. I don't have the paddle. I've got more of the reflection of the sun coming, but enough of what I've got. This is a good shot too. Everything's laid out in front. You can see the sun is rising. He's ready to go for a canoe ride. It's a great story. Now this one is my last, this was for me as well. This is Katie and we went for a walk at night. And this is just a picture of the dog and it's a sunset picture. And it was taken with my Insta360 GO 2. Not a great camera, but it turned out a fine photograph. I really like that picture of Katie in the sunset, looking into it in the end of the day. That's just me. Anyway, that's it. That's all those sunset pictures we had and the sunrise pictures. Well, I was in such a rush to finish the video <laughs> that I forgot to tell you the joke. So I'm doing it from my backyard, sitting on my love chair here that swings back and forth. And I'm just looking at the pool and I'm ready for a dip. But to finish off this video, why should you never, ever, ever, ever brush your t teeth with your left hand? Because a, because, a, because a toothbrush works better. Oh. Well, that's the critique and the review of your videos. Or sh oh, crap. I'm glad this is over. Check out this video. Check out that video. And until I see you again, cheers.